Are you thinking of moving to Sassoon City but want to know more about the area? We're well, going to want to watch this video. We are going to cover the Meridian, a community of new construction homes in Sassoon. And we're going to tell you everything you need to know. We're going to go over home prices, features, incentives, lot premiums, and much more. Let's, Let's go. go. Hi, I'm Lily Ratliff. I'm Brandon Ratliff. And we are a husband and wife real estate team here in Northern California who specialize in Solano County. Yes, Lily and I have been living in Solano County for over 10 years now. We've been helping people just like you buy, sell, invest in real estate, and we absolutely love it. Yes, we do. So whether you're thinking of the next 9 days or 90 days, we want to be your go-to resource. We want to be of help. So give us a call, text, email, or schedule a Zoom meeting in the description and the link below. All right, but let's get at it. The Meridian, this is a community of new construction homes by Century Communities, and it's in Sassoon City, which is actually one of the smaller cities in Solano County. So before we get into the actual home features, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on my Google Maps and show you guys around, including where the shops are, downtown, and of course, the schools. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to my Google Maps. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, I have Sassoon City here. As you can see, it's very close to Fairfield, but you're gonna have to take Highway 12 here from Highway 80. These are gonna be the main freeways roads that you use if you're going to be commuting from Sassoon City. If you're gonna be going to Sacramento, you could perhaps take the back roads depending on how bad the traffic is, but more than likely you're gonna be taking Highway 12 and then that'll take you to 80 and up here, that's where you have Vacaville, Sacramento. I would say again, about that 30 to 45 minute range depending on the traffic. Uh, same thing for San Francisco, if I just scroll out a little bit more, you can see here, take Highway 12, that'll get you over here to 680 or to 80, which will take you, if I scroll out a little bit further, you can see uh, all into the Bay Area and San Francisco as well. But it would definitely take at least an hour, if not a little bit more, considering traffic, but it's definitely doable. Now, as I zoom in here, I did want to mention if you're going to be stationed at Travis Air Force Base, Sassoon City is going to be very commute friendly for you. You are not that far, I would say 10, 15 minutes away, probably 15, 20. It really just depends on how you hit those lights and the traffic, but you're going to be very close. Now, the actual community itself is going to be, as I scroll in here, right here, Meridian by Century Communities. It's going to be right here on um, Cordelia Street. So a good way to probably get there. Now you could take Main Street, uh, but it's probably gonna be a little easier to take Pennsylvania Ave to Highway 12. And then as I zoom out here, I can show you just how close the Air Force Base is and how easy the commute would be. You just gotta take uh, Highway 12 all the way down to right here. This is Walters Road and then boom, takes you straight to Travis Air Force Base. So again, probably 15, 20 minutes right there, but not a bad commute. Now in terms of school, I'd say they're all gonna be about 10 minutes away, maybe 15 minutes when you consider that school traffic. I'll go ahead and show you now. Again, Meridian by Century Communities is right here. This is going to be the elementary school that your children will be going to. This is Crescent Elementary School. This has a B rating on niche.com. Again, you're gonna be taking Highway 12 to get there. As you might notice, Highway 12 is going to be a big road for you if you choose to live in Sassoon City. So the middle school is going to be the closest school to you. It's actually pretty close to downtown Sassoon City as well. But that has a C rating on niche.com and that is Crystal Middle School right here. And when we talk about the high school, that's going to be Armio High School and that got a B minus rating on niche.com. And that's not too far away either. You're just going to go either, you know, again, take Main Street or take Pennsylvania down to Texas. And then you'll be able to, as we zoom in here, take Washington Street and boom, you're at Armio High School. So not too far away, all the schools, I would say, like I said, 10 minutes, maybe 15 if you're hitting all the lights the wrong way, but everything's gonna be fairly close to you. And what's really cool about this specific community is how close it is to downtown Sassoon. So here's Meridian and right down the street, just take Cordelia Street, that's gonna get you to Main Street and you're gonna have a lot of restaurants at your disposal. I mean, we're talking, you know, Cast Iron Grill, you have Babs Delta Diner. This one's really cool. We've gone there a couple times with the kids because you're literally, as you can see, right there on the Delta. So it's kind of nice to be able to see all of that. You also have uh, the Athenian Grill. If you like Greek food, this is great. There's a really good um, Mexican food and Italian food down the way, all up and down Main Street. I mean, Main Street Bar and Grill. 
you just have a lot of different options. So that's going to be kind of cool. I also want to mention they do a lot of events downtown uh, right here on the waterfront and you'd be able to walk to those and or, you know, bike, whatever you'd want to do and you wouldn't really have to worry about parking. So kind of a plus of this community. Now, before we get back into the community, talk about the features, the pricing, all that good stuff, wanted to show you the closest grocery store. I would say Rayleigh's is going to be your closest one. And again, just you're going to be down on 12. And the thing with 12 is it really just depends with traffic. I mean, these right here are stoplights. So I've had times where we just breeze through these and the other times if it's during school hours or commute hours, these can get backed up. So this could take you some time, it really just depends. This could be five minutes away, this could be 15 minutes away, but that's where your uh, closest grocery store is gonna be. Now, if you're really trying to do some damage with shopping, you want a little bit more choices, you are going to have to go into Fairfield. I would say it's only gonna be 10 minutes away, maybe 15 with traffic. Again, it really just depends what this 12 is doing at the time of day. But you can just take Pennsylvania, and as I scroll over here, you can take that all the way uh, down to Travis Boulevard or take the 80. That's gonna get you through the Solano Town Center. That's where we have a movie theater. We have a mall. We have Trader Joe's. You're also gonna have uh, Kaiser Permanente there. It's not gonna be a hospital per se. It's a clinic building, so they do outpatient services. The actual hospital itself is going to be in Vacaville if you actually needed hospital service for Kaiser Permanente. If you were, say, for North Bay Medical, they do have a hospital uh, in Fairfield as well. So they're all going to be, I'd say, 10 to 15 minutes, just depending on how you're hitting those lights. Uh, you also have, I wanted to point out, you know, if you go in, if you wanted your closest Target and Home Depot, that's going to be over here closer to 80. So that's probably going to be, you know, your, your big shopping trips. They also have a Walmart, but that's going to be a little bit north of Trader Joe's. I can kind of show you up here. Boop, there we go. And there's the Walmart Supercenter. So you got a lot of options. I will say if you wanted to go all the way down uh, to the west side of Fairfield, as I sort of scroll out here, that's also where you're gonna have a Costco. So if you need to do that big bulk warehouse shopping, you do have that option here. Again, not too far with 80 to 12. And then boom, you're right there, back home. So you do have a lot of options. Within Sassoon City itself, I'd say you're mostly gonna be close to restaurants, the downtown area, and that middle school, everything else you will have to drive to. But commuting wise, it's gonna be pretty easy, especially if you're at Travis Air Force Base. And in general, I would say it's just, if you want that small town living, this is gonna be a great community for you. So let's go ahead and get back into the community, talk about the homes, what you can expect to find at the Meridian. So thank you so much, Lily, for hopping on Google Maps and showing us around. Now let's get into the home features. This development is going to have five different floor plans. Two of those are going to be single stories and the rest are going to be two story homes. Uh, something to keep in mind here, they're going to be alley loaded homes. Which what means, does that mean? Yes, yeah, so they're going to be a tighter spaces. They're going to have a zero lot line. So pretty much you're going to be sharing a part of the house is going to be in your backyard. Mm -hmm. So there's no division there. Yes, this is a little different than what you would see in your traditional neighborhood. However, this does allow them to have more homes in this space. It may not work for everybody. So when we're talking about the home specs, the average lot here is going to be about 3,500 to 4,000 square feet. So this is going to be much smaller than that typical lot you see in Sassoon City, which is about 6,000 square feet. So you want to keep that in mind. The homes though, they're going to be anywhere from 1760 square feet all the way up to a little over 2000 square feet. So you are going to get a good amount of home. Again, you're pretty much just getting more home here than land. And that's going to be the trade off and it's going to be new construction. But in terms of actual layout, Brandon, what can they expect? So when we go upstairs, you're going to get that additional room. They call it a bonus room. You may often hear the word loft being thrown around. It's not your traditional loft. It's like you're, it's a room in the middle of the other rooms. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it does give it a different vibe than that traditional loft where you walk up the stairs and it's right it's there. It's all open. Now this could be perfect to say you want to make that room maybe a nursery or have that room close to you, but if you want a little bit more separation and you like the fact that the loft is further away from the bedrooms, I think these floor plans may not work for you. And another thing you can expect here, you're gonna have high windows with a lot of natural light coming in. They made the windows a little bit higher to give you more privacy, but still allow the natural light to come in, make things feel brighter, lighter, happier, joyful. Oh, look at that. Yes, and another thing that's really important to mention too about the windows, they're gonna be sound mitigating. Now, why is this important? Well, on the perimeter 
of the actual community, there's going to be a train that comes through. And I will say when we were in the models, we heard construction going on. It was definitely lower. We were not in there when the actual train crossed. So I cannot speak to that volume, but they have made the necessary steps, if you will, to try and minimize or mitigate as much of that sound as possible. So we found a lot of buyers want the full bed and bath downstairs. And one of the models you can convert the bottom floor to a full shower. You can't get the bath option, but you can get a full shower. It's not gonna be a primary suite where the bath is inside the room. They are going to be separate, but it is an option in one of their models. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of options and sort of customizations, you're gonna be a little bit more limited here, but that does help keep the cost down for you as a buyer, and it does help keep them moving homes a little bit quicker. Now, they still do have quite a few design options or packages, if you will but you're not gonna be able to you know, customize everything like say, they don't have the option for you to put in a light fixture. However, they do pre-wire the canned lighting that they have in the kitchen. So if you wanted to say, put a light fixture after you moved in, you have that option. So something to be mindful of if you are living in this community, we mentioned it before, it is a zero lot line. So that means on your side yard, your primary space you're going to be, there's going to be an easement so you can never concrete the whole backyard. Mm -hmm. They do have access to get into the yard if they need it, because again, your their house is going to be your wall. Yeah, so it's gonna be a little bit different than what we're used to seeing in Solano County with our new construction homes. And this may not work for everybody, but you are going to have enough space in that side yard to have people over, have a party. It's just a matter of how comfortable you feel knowing that if they need to your neighbors, do and can have access to that sort of side yard space so that they can maintain or do whatever they need to do to their equipment or their side of the house. Yeah, so if you have kids that enjoy playing in the backyard, maybe no wall ball. Like yeah. If you don't like your neighbor, throw a football, throw a ball at the wall, they'll love you forever. <laughs> uh, but something to be mindful of, that is in your primary backyard or mm -hmm. side yard space. So let's talk about the pricing and the incentives here at this community. The homes are gonna start at 631,000 and work their way up all the way to $661,000. Now what's really neat about this community that we like the most is the incentives and how generous they are. And they really think about the buyer's needs. So they offer an appliance package, which is the refrigerator, the washer, the dryer. They offer blinds that come with the house and a lot of new builds that we cover, mm -hmm. they don't always offer these things. So and these, that's costly. They're very costly, you know? So blinds in the whole house. They're also gonna throw in a concrete patio. And typically, traditionally, they always throw in like a little slab right out the front at the back door. You're gonna walk out. <laughs> but this is gonna be a patio section, so more concrete, saving you more money. They're really thinking about the climate of real estate and what buyers are needing right in this moment. So that's always nice. Yes, we do always like, you know, a lot of times new construction communities, they're beautiful. You go into the models, you fall in love. But then after you go to the design center, after you put in the blinds, you factor in the solar, their HOA, the cost of landscaping, the backyard, it's just not affordable. It's a million and dollars. It is a million dollars. But we do like the Meridian because they're a little bit more transparent and they do include more. So when you see that price there, that's really more of the true price of what it's going to cost you to enter in that home with the appliances, with the blinds, right? These are costs that are gonna save you thousands of dollars, which a lot of times, if this is your first home, that means a lot. So another perk about this community, which is off the tops, the best I've seen, yeah. is they have a 25 year solar lease that they are going to carry for you. So you're a buyer, you don't need to buy it, you don't need to lease it unless you wanna buy it, but mm -hmm. there's no need to. The builder is going to carry the solar lease. They are going to pay for it for you. You don't have to worry about that at all. And what's really neat about this, as Brandon mentioned, Century Community, the builder, they own that lease. So if you go to resell your home in a couple of years, you're not really gonna have an issue. You're gonna be able to transfer that to the new buyer coming in. And it's almost going to be as good as owning. You know, Brandon and I, we typically like to say for resale, owning your solar does go further. However, in this instance, I would say we would probably agree to disagree with that statement for this exception mm -hmm. because they're paying the lease. So you don't have to worry about the maintenance or paying for it. So that saves you a couple hundred bucks again when you talk about your utility bills. And that's a cool incentive. Now, if you're wanting to take advantage of the tax credit, you will need to purchase it yourself. Now, they're gonna be between $15,000 and $20,000 depending on the floor plan you choose, but it's something to be mindful of. If you want that credit, you are gonna to have to purchase the solar yourself. Mm -hmm. And they can roll that into your mortgage, so it would just be a part of your loan. Right. 
but that's gonna be a decision that you can make. So other costs associated with this community, you are gonna have HOAs here. They are $112 a month, and that goes to the grassy areas, it goes to the playgrounds, and all that fun stuff. Something else to keep in mind, there is Melarus tax here. Mm -hmm. Good old California. It goes towards all new builds. You're gonna find that it's a very common theme. Here it's 1.6%. So be mindful of that and factor that into your payment. Mm -hmm. But something to offset that. There's a but. There is a but. <laughs> and they did elevate the community. Lily had mentioned in the Google Maps, you are near a marina, there's water near. A lot of those older homes around the development, they are in a flood zone. And this community would be in a flood zone, but they thought about you, they said, hey, what if we elevate this place? We alleviate flood insurance, there is no flood insurance for buyers, mm -hmm. and that's gonna offset a lot of money there. Yeah, it saves you $3,000 a year, just yeah. about. So yeah. I mean, that is substantial, and is definitely enough to offset, say, the HOA or the Miller Roos. So that is a pro of this community that you're not gonna see everywhere else. Now, if you're wondering, when are these homes going to be available to actually move in? Well, keep in mind, this is a relatively new community. They just opened this past October. Right now, the homes that they're selling, they're gonna be completed and ready for you to move in by springtime. We're talking March, April. It is important to note the single story floor plan that they have, right? They sort of added that at the end. They don't have the exact pricing of that yet, and there is only going to be eight of those. So if that's limited, something- Limited, limited, yes. limited. <laughs> yeah, that is something that you are interested in. We strongly recommend going in there sooner than later, maybe getting pre-approved with their affiliate lender. That way you sort of are bumped up on the priority list, just to make sure that you secure yourself a home in this community. What's really unique about this community, this is the the only new construction community right now in Sassoon. And the best part about this is if you can get in on the first phase, as opposed to waiting to the latter phases, you are going to build that equity just by getting in in the first couple phases. Not to mention you are a hop, skip away being downtown and eating all the best foods. Mm. What more can you ask for? Well, that was our video on the Meridian, the new community in Sassoon City. We hope you enjoyed it. We really do put a lot of time and effort into it. If there's something that you're interested in, we do strongly recommend, if not us, please reach out to a local trusted real estate agent who could help you, you know, negotiate a better deal, ask the questions that you may not know to ask to make sure that you are getting the right fit, the right price, the right deal for you in buying this home. Yeah, and if you need additional resources, there's one more information. We are boots on the ground for you. We want to be of help any way possible. Give us a call, text, email, or even schedule a Zoom meeting in the description in the link below. But until the next video, Ratless out. out.